From the lethal greenhouse gases of Venus to treacherous storms of Jupiter and its moons, today we look at insane weather on other planets. Number 11. Extreme Temps on Mercury Weather on Mercury is fairly simplistic, thanks to its near-complete lack of atmosphere. But it's also to blame for Mercury's extreme temperatures. As the closest planet to the Sun, it's no wonder why Mercury would get extremely hot. But without an atmosphere, there's nothing to retain that heat on the surface of the planet. As a result, Mercury tends to range from over 800 degrees Fahrenheit to 290 degrees below Fahrenheit. So if you ever get to visit Mercury, you'll have your choice of how to go out. Petrified in solid ice or scorched to ash. Number 10. Poison Acid Sauna on Venus Almost as if compensating for its little birdie Mercury, Venus has an incredibly thick atmosphere composed of greenhouse gases, mostly carbon dioxide. Due to this dense air, Venus retains much more of the Sun's radiation. This cooks the surface of the planet to a consistent 900 degrees Fahrenheit. And like a hellish rainforest, the heat is accompanied by super-corrosive sulfuric acid drizzling from the sky. Venus's surface is so hot, though, any rain evaporates before it can hit the ground, or explodes violently when the sulfuric acid makes contact with some water. One of the two. And if the acid and heat weren't enough, Venus is also under intense pressure at 92 times the atmospheric pressure of Earth. Needless to say, no attempts to send a person to Venus have been made, and any probes that made it there couldn't make it past a couple of hours on that treacherous surface. Number 9. Polar Sandstorms on Mars Thought by some to have the potential secret to life on Earth beneath their polar caps, the dry, dusty red surface of Mars certainly resembles a drought-ridden wasteland. Scientists believe the planet once had running water, thus necessitating precipitation, and by default, an atmosphere. But with no remnants of an atmosphere to be found, dust tornadoes plague the surface of Mars. These violent cyclones tear through the red landscape and can even expand to envelope the planet over the course of a couple days. Rivaling the dust disasters that cover Mars are the intense snowstorms located at the planet's polar ice caps. To make them even stranger, these blizzards are made of dry ice, also known as frozen carbon dioxide. Less extreme, though, are the temperatures on the planet. Mars, like Mercury, doesn't have much of any atmosphere. But as the fourth planet from the Sun, Mars attains much more moderate temperatures, whereas one spot on the planet could be 70 degrees Fahrenheit in the Sun, and that same spot in the shade could be as low as minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Since these facts all point towards some sort of potential habitability on Mars, researchers hope to have a man on Mars in the next few decades. Number 8. Superstorms on Jupiter Covered in unfathomable storms, one more than any other sticks out on the surface of Jupiter. Referred to as the Great Red Spot, this massive hurricane is approximately 400 years old, and was seen and recorded by Galileo. The storm is so colossal, it's easily three times the size of the Earth. In recent years, a new storm identified as Little Red Spot has sprouted up and begun to churn. It's shown signs of increasing in speed and size since its appearance. Jet streams cover Jupiter as well, with nearly 30 of them racing across the surface at speeds reaching over 300 miles per hour. Some of these jet streams align with the Great Red Spot and actually are responsible for keeping it somewhat restrained. Meanwhile, other jet streams appear to have another purpose, as scientists have recently identified them as being composed of frozen ammonia. The temperature at that part of the atmosphere reaches a dismal, negative 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Even stranger than these frozen speeding ammonia clouds comes in the recent discovery that Jupiter can even form diamonds in its atmosphere. Weather can't get any weirder than raining priceless jewels. Number 7. Ice Ocean on Europa Of all the moons of Jupiter, Europa is the only one that is apparently stashing a 62-mile saltwater ocean trapped in a layer of ice. Some scientists believe Europa has some of the required chemical compounds for life to develop. 
A thin atmosphere contributes to the icy surface, but interestingly enough, it's composed of molecular oxygen. The oxygen in this gaseous layer leaks from Europa's gravitational pull, as does molecular hydrogen and atomic oxygen. These elements combine in the form of a hazy cloud around the moon. While in this cloud, the elements become ionized and provide a source for the plasma that drifts within Jupiter's magnetosphere. Number 6. Hot, cold volcanoes on Io Covered in hundreds of lava-filled peaks, Io is constantly bursting with volcanic activity thanks to the gravitational yank of Jupiter. These active volcanic regions can reach temperatures of 3,092 degrees Fahrenheit. But as with many low-atmosphere planets, the heat is not retained, and there are areas on the Moon that are freezing cold. The volcanoes that do erupt often hit heights of 250 miles above the surface due to its low gravity and the forcefulness of Jupiter's pool. To make matters even more confusing for our researchers, according to temperature models and calculations, the volcanoes on Io's surface break the natural laws science has in place for volcanoes. Initially stupefied by their apparent wrong location, researchers recognized the volcanoes of Io as a launching pad for a greater understanding of volcanic properties. Number 5. Ice Barriered Energy on Saturn Similar to Jupiter in that it's completely composed of gas, Saturn has many properties that are similar to its bigger neighbor. It's composed of mostly hydrogen, as well as ammonia and helium, but it's also much windier, with some winds reaching speeds of 1,000 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, the highest speed of a naturally occurring wind ever recorded is 253 miles per hour. In addition to higher speeds, Saturn's all-around temperature is much lower. The atmosphere is thin and cold, and the planet's North Pole is a constant snowstorm. The storm itself has a unique characteristic, as it's not circular or even rounded, but instead hexagonal. Each side of the hexagon is predicted to be 8,600 miles long, which is larger than the diameter of the Earth. Unlike Jupiter, this storm is not as common in occurrence as Saturn will often experience a period of peace, punctuated by random storms sprouting up. But when they do, they're just as extreme, if not more so, than the storms on Jupiter. One such storm in the Northern Hemisphere stretches across 10,000 kilometers in the atmosphere, a distance equivalent to flying from Texas to Tokyo. Another storm scientists found was nearly eight times the surface area of the Earth and raged for at least four years. Photos taken by the NASA spacecraft Cassini showed this storm's turbulence in full with the supposed 10 lightning flashes per second at one point. Near Saturn's surface, the immense pressure combined with the elements of the planet produced hardened graphite and even diamonds. Unfortunately, even trying to get close to these high-speed streams of diamonds would probably result in a violent, visceral thrashing. Number 4. Methane Lakes on Titan One of the largest moons Saturn has, Titan, is covered in large lakes of liquid. Not to be confused with Minnesota, this land of thousand lakes is quite a bit cooler at an average temperature of minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only that, but these large bodies of water aren't even water, they're methane. This may be a bit disappointing if you get the chance to view the massive moon since it looks so much like Earth. But methane has a much lower melting point than water at 295.6 degrees Fahrenheit. This means the methane endures cycles similar to Earth, with solid methane melting to liquid before precipitating back down upon the planet. The thick atmosphere surrounding Titan allows for what little heat permeates the surface to stick around and keep the precipitation cycle fresh. This doesn't make the moon any easier to visit, but at least gives insight to scientists of analogous functions that occur across the solar system. Some even think the atmosphere could be perfect for life to flourish. Or perhaps it already has. Number 3. Chilly Blue Methane on Uranus The coldest planet in our solar system, Uranus drops to wildly low temperatures, bottoming out at a minus 371 degrees Fahrenheit. Composed of gas and ice, Uranus has a unique feature compared to other planets in that its axis is on its side with its north pole facing the sun. Its magnetic fields don't match up with its poles, and many researchers believe it must have endured a collision to have been knocked sideways into that condition. Blanketed in blue methane gases, Uranus hides its weather system, which is actually quite active. Infrared cameras must be used to record the weather, which again features diamond rain, 
beneath the surface of blue. Number 2. Frozen Wind on Neptune Considered the most distant planet from Earth in the modern solar system, Neptune has its own share of extreme weather. A gas giant, Neptune has the same typical diamond rain and weather bands wrapping around the surface. But this planet has a much flatter topography, and as a result the friction required to slow its high-speed winds are absent. Because of this, Neptune has the most violent, high-velocity winds in the solar system at a peak of 1,500 miles per hour. This means if you were to visit Neptune, you would be able to witness the sound barrier break right around the time you would have frozen solid. Like many other planets, Neptune also has moons. The largest one is Triton, a cold moon that averages minus 315 degrees Fahrenheit. It is the coldest place in the solar system. Ornamented with pink polar ice caps, it is believed that the moon is slowly evaporating layers of nitrogen ice, the same nitrogen that forms clouds surrounding Triton. The moon also has a strange orbit, encircling Neptune backwards. Scientists believe this moon will most likely collide with Neptune in the next 10 to 100 million years. They believe it will most likely be torn apart and form an icy ring around its father planet. Number 1. Comet Mode on Pluto Mercury and Io may endure some acute differences in temperature on their surface, but Pluto takes that to a new extreme. Its incredibly elliptical orbit takes it from being completely frozen at its furthest point from the Sun to a much closer distance that does a little bit more than melt the ice. Heating up due to the increased proximity, Pluto lights up with a gassy atmosphere, more resembling a comet than a planet. It even forms a tail during orbit. This strange feature is to blame for Pluto's recent planetary status revocation. Thank you.